Hello friends, welcome. Now let's get started and work with the backend in this video. So I'm going to open the project with the VS Code first. So let's cd in the sites directory. And now let's navigate in my backend, which is uh, Laravel dash breeze dash API. And I'm going to open this with VS Code. Okay, here we have. Now, if we go inside the resources, views, we have the welcome, we have the JS, we have the app.js and bootstrap, and also in the CSS. Okay, I'm going to show you because I'm going to install the Breeze API, and when we install the Breeze API, it's going to remove everything inside the resources. And also, let's see in the .env file yeah right now we have the app url to point to this url which is laravel-breeze-api.test and now it's going to change also this one so let's navigate in the browser and go to the documentation of our laravel project starter kits and let's install the breeze copy this command inside the terminal and paste that in composer require laravel slash breeze dash 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 okay then we need to install the api version so here we have with view and with react but this is going to have inertia we need the also support the SSR server side rendering, but we are going to install the API version. So let's copy this and clear paste here PHP artisan breeze colon install API. And yeah, it's installed. Now, if I open the project, you can see we have app URL, the point of the localhost 8000. And also we have here the front-end URL, which is uh, localhost 3000. Now, the front-end URL is for our Vue.js project, and we have the Vue.js in the 5173, and we can change that. So for example, 5173 here, or we can leave this 3000 and change the Vue.js port. Okay, also inside the resources, we see we don't have anything. We have only this file here. Okay. Next, uh, I want to navigate again to the Sanctum. A single page authentication. And in order to authenticate your single page API, and also the API must share the same top level domain. And now we have the same domain here. We have localhost, but okay. Then first you should configure which domains your single page application will be making a request from. So we need the configuration of the stateful domain. And if you go inside the config uh, sanctum, we have here the Sanctum Stateful Domains. And I'm going to copy this and add, as you can see, we have the .env and Sanctum Stateful Domains. I'm going to copy this and add in our .env file here. And I'm going to point the localhost 3000. Okay, and then also, so after we configuration the stateful sanctum domain, which domains will main, maintain the stateful authentication using Laravel session cookies when making the request because uh, this Breeze API use the session cookies for 
authentication. Also, we need to add the axios with credentials to true, but this is for the front end. So we are going to install axios and add this the axios configuration. And the last one is the add the session domain configuration. So if again inside the service config and we have the session here, session driver, session lifetime, and also the we have the session domain. Yeah, domain is going to point to the env session domain and let's copy this also and paste it here now the session domain is going to point to the local host only the local host save this so here we have for example if we have a, a domain we add dot in front and domain.com As I said, you is better to go and read the documentation. But I think now we are okay with the backend. The last thing is to create the database. So let's copy this and let's open. I use a table plus. I'm going to create a new database with this name. And now if I run the artisan migrate, Clear so PHP artisan and I have alias for this so just remember just a uh, artisan migrate okay now we have the database here very good and I think we are okay with the backend now so we added the sanctum stateful domains the point of the localhost 3000 remember because this is very uh you need to have the sanctum stateful domains to point to this url or if you have uh, as i said 5173 the same is need here and here but I'm going to leave it 3000 because I'm going to change the front end host. And that's it about this video. See you in the next one, friends. We are going to work with uh, Vue.js. All the best.